So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to be talking about radii of convergence. So the radius of convergence of a power series c sub n times x minus a to the n is the value r such that the series converges whenever the absolute value of x minus a is less than r and diverges when the absolute value of x minus a is greater than r. So in a picture, if we think of the real line like this, we've got a right here. We're saying that r is a value such that the series converges everywhere in this interval. So you start at a and you don't shift more than r, or you shift less than r in either direction, you converge. If you shift more than r in either direction, then you diverge. And in fact, all power series have a radius of convergence, which might be infinity, which means that it converges on the entire real line, or converges only when x equals a. And note that when x equals a, all these terms are zero. So by this note, the behavior of a power series can't be too erratic. It can't converge here and then maybe on some separate interval over here but not in between. The, the values for which the series converge must be fairly well behaved, must be an interval. Let's take a look at an example. So let's find the radius of convergence of the sum from n equals 0 to infinity n times x minus 5 to the n all over 3 to the n. Well, as we so often do with power series, we're going to use the ratio test. So we'll look at the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. So a sub n plus 1 is n plus 1 times x minus 5 to the n plus 1 all over 3 to the n plus 1. And instead of dividing by a sub n, we'll multiply by the reciprocal. So we get 3 to the n times 3 to the n over n times x minus 5 to the n. So let's rewrite this a little bit. This is the limit as n approaches infinity. Well, we'll group the n plus 1 and the n together. So we get n plus 1 over n. We have 3 to the n over uh, 3 to the n plus 1. That gives us 1 over 3. And then times the absolute value of x minus 5, because x minus 5 to the n plus 1 over x minus 5 to the n is just x minus 5. As n approaches infinity, the only thing here involving n is n plus 1 over n. The limit of that is 1, so we're left with 1 third x minus 5. Now, we want this, by the ratio test, we want this to be less than 1 to guarantee convergence. So 1 third x minus 5 is less than 1, if and only if x minus 5 is less than 3. So x minus 5 less than 3 is equivalent to this, which means that 3 is our radius of convergence. So the radius of convergence of this series is 3.